Alright, I know you guys want it. Next up. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And I even got a press code. This, so this was provided by the publisher. First time I've turned my Xbox One on in... Uh, a long time? <laughs> I think the most recently executed thing might have been Mass Effect 3 from back when I did the playthrough of the trilogy. <laughs> Either that or Rock Band 4. This is a not often utilized console for me. But they did hand out Xbox copies instead of uh, Steam copies. Which I guess is sort of a given. Here we go. I think I remember hearing a message or a headline or a tweet or something back in the day where they're like, for Ori 2, we're gonna hire a combat designer. Which sounds encouraging, because that was probably the weakest element of the last game, was part where you would kind of like, basically just Sonic dash people, and there, there wasn't there just wasn't a lot going on with the, the combat, as far as I can remember last time. Okay. Just double checking for subtitles and stuff. The way it's meant to be played. Enough said, I guess. Rather, an, rather an ambig unambiguous. An ambiguous. That's an ambiguous. Hey, straight to gameplay. Look at the flowing background. As beautiful as always. What tragedy is going to befall them this time? You almost feel bad for wanting a sequels, right? Because it's like, the beginning of the last game was really sad. It's like, we're gonna have a sequel? Well, that was sweet. I'm waiting for the shoe to drop, though. <laughs> There's like a certain agreement, almost, where it's like the darkness of begging for sequels for things as you're wishing for bad things to happen to the people in those stories so the story can keep happening. There's like a worry here of like what might happen next. Oh, we got a nice loving family. That turned out great last time.
Well, that's a brutal start. So she seems to have a permanently deformed wing. Maybe there'll be a little bit something more aspirational this time. Maybe instead of a tragedy, like a horrible calamity befalling us, it's more like we go on this big mission to restore her wing. There we go. Kuro's Feather, Red Sugar to Glide. Is she gonna wear it or something? Yeah, we had this all along. Tie it on? I was wondering if you could repair the wing mechanically. Oh my god, I get a Yoshi. That's where they're going with this. I, I was gonna try to go up that ledge, but I don't think I can get back now.
All right, the shoe dropped. <laughs> that was so sweet, too. Made a grave mistake on their first flight, though. Here we are. Got three orbs of one kind, three of the other. Let's see, there was like a physical checkpoint system in this game before. So it's probably back again where you like make your own checkpoints by spending one of those resources. All right, let's start exploring. Not sure which way to go first necessarily. Let's see. What's that? Friend? Ow. Not friend. None of the buttons really do anything, though. It's just jumping. Not even a double jump. Does water hurt in this game? Wow, I can't even swing, huh? Okay, water hurts. Now I know. Oh, shit. Wow. We're gonna get used to a really, really reset uh, move set. We don't have a lot going on for us right now. A life orb. Collect these to restore his life. We're gonna find Ku. I was already asking lo like longer scale logistical questions, like what are we? How is Ku's flight gonna work once? She outgrows her mother's feather, because that's one feather that's covering her entire wing. But she presumably gets as big as her mother eventually, unless that was like the corruption or whatever. I can't get around very well right now. So I'm a bit unsure. Maybe it still will be what I originally thought would happen. I kind of thought she that uh, Ori might le leave them and go on an expedition to find the solution. Spirit like can be traded to friendly creatures for various oh, so it's a currency. I kind of thought that Ori might go on this grand expedition on a, instead of response to tragedy. It would be like a, a, a self-made mission driven to like find a solution to this problem. Like maybe there's some kind of magical cure. Well, I'm not getting back up there now. There's so many things just out of reach. They're torturing me. There's an arrow going, saying to go that way, so I'll go this way. Dead. They seem attracted to light. Ooh, I can swing that. Because they, they came looking at me earlier, and, and then they were all gathered around that torch. Either they're the ones responsible for like the offering shrine situation, or they were, uh, yeah, I already knew that. Either they were just the, making an offering or whatever what's going on with that shrine, or they're just being brought in by the light. Oh. Can I jump on you? Nope. Energy orb. Collect these to restore all reason and energy. We're not getting through there. Are you? Yeah. 
Oh, or it can actually, or it can actually combo. Is it a bird? Score? What are you now? Not a Moki, clearly. Not even from Niwen, are you? I've visited most lands near and far, not seen your kind. Come from across the water, maybe? Oh, whatever you are, I'm Tuck, a wanderer in these parts. The better parts, at least. I'm taking shelter from that storm myself, but if you're thinking of going further, you have to get through that spirit gate to the east. You'll need two keystones. I happen to have one in my bag, but there's another in the cave head. But acquiring it is a job for someone more nimble than myself. What do you say? Find the keystone. Uh, made it. I don't remember a lot of characters last time around. Maybe that'll be a change. Ah, crap. Bye. <gasps> I wish I had Curl's Feather. Uh oh. Ooh. I feel like I'm gonna just keep dropping almost permanently downward over and over again. Until I finally get uh, some kind of ability to like double jump or climb or something. Oh, look at you. Ah, why? Why? Why must we fight? Oh, shit. I'm, oh, I've just died. <laughs> God damn. That was not a friendly start. This thing's aggressive. Ah, oh, I still got hit. Ah, oh, God damn it. Ah! Holy crap! Ah, I'm having trouble landing hits, or like getting the sweet space down. There we go. There we go. That'll take some getting used to. Uh oh. This can't go well. Yep. You can climb blue moss. Like on the ceiling here? Yeah. Well, that'll come in handy. It makes this area more traversal, traversable than, than immediately obvious. Which way should I go first? Ooh. The keystone. Keystones are used to open spirit gates. Different spirit gates may require a different number of keystones. Hmm. Wasn't there more over here, though? Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, we're not getting around much. Seems like I may want to stick to the most linear path for now. Because my abilities are so limited that I can't really do much. For like, optional secrets. There's definitely a lot of stuff around here I'll have to come back for later in general. So I'm not exactly saving a trip by being thorough now. Ow. This is back where I started, isn't it? Yep. I 
here we go. Oop, watch out. So without a torch, I once, I once again don't have a weapon for these sections. Ah, you're back. And is that a keystone I see? Here's one more for your trouble. I am ever a bird of my word, hmm? Now I can continue my wanderings through Niwen's lost wonders before we lose any more. And you can carry on with, uh, whatever it is you're doing. Good luck. Hey! Keep your eyes sharp. The wind isn't the only thing that howls in the swamp. Something else howls. Is there a wolf this time instead of a, an owl? Nah. Is that... Wait, didn't I try to break into that before? I don't think that was just, was vulnerable to fire. I could be wrong. Oh, that's a wolf. Hello. So we once again have a giant predator creature to worry about. So many details to take in. Oh. He seems friendly. <laughs> hey, can we not? No, 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 no. no ow. Oh, he doesn't like fire. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Okay. Okay. I'm just dying. How, how do I do this? Okay. Ah, stop it. What, what am I doing? I don't... I don't get it. Oh, do I redo the whole chase sequence every time? Hey! Ah! Do I not come back? What do I... What am I supposed to do in this part? Do I combo him? Do I die? What? <laughs> Am I not? Am, I don't... I don't... I don't know what I'm not getting here. I don't see anything flammable in the environment, so I don't think it's a puzzle. But, like, duking out with him doesn't seem to work, because he seems to be attacking, like, basically the entire area. He's huge. Like, I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. I, I, can I have like a dat? I don't have a dodge. Like I can't get away. Jesus Christ, he's so fast. What do you want from me, game? I don't. I don't understand. I. I. I, I don't get it. I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing. This is the first level. Like, what? Am I an idiot? What am I doing wrong? I, his attacks are huge. I can't move that fast. I, don't, I can't get away. I, uh, I'm trying to counterattack.
Ah, shit. What's up? What's up? I, this is really hard. <laughs> uh. Ah! I can I have a dash, please? <laughs> I don't. This doesn't feel right. This feels weird. Oh, you don't have to do like nearly the health worth of damage. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be a struggle. That was hard. Yeah, like, this is his movement speed. And, like, that's a huge attack. Oh, my... And now my, uh... Now it's gone. Alright. No big deal, now we just have to go back in the, in the direction we saw him in.